Okay, next we are going to discuss the IK Pose tool, a very useful tool that can be used in conjunction with Bone. So let's do a quick example. I'm going to hit the B tool for Bone, and then I'm just going to create the series of bones. So let's say I want to animate this joint over here from the top and then everything to rotate in conjunction to the bottom. I am going to go to animate. Um, I'm going to go through this tedious process of selecting all the bones and trying it again, selecting all of them, trying again, oh my goodness. And then hitting at the start shift R, then maybe going forward, pressing R for rotate, rotating them. Maybe I want this one to rotate a bit more and then this one to rotate, rotate a bit more and then continue to do that for each consecutive pose, okay? Probably be smarter to start at the top and then just go to the end and uh, have like one continuous mo uh, motion. But as you can see, it's, it is a bit tedious and there is actually a tool to help us with this. So if we jump back to design and we select the, the top bone and I hit X, which is the shortcut for IK pose, and I click, you can see that there's um, a red dot that gets added to the top joint. So now as I move the mouth, uh, mouth the mouse, the joint tries to follow that movement of the red dot. So you might say, this isn't uh, that, that unique, you can just do that with the rotation. However, this becomes very useful because you can select multiple bones and the bones will figure out what is the optimum way to achieve that rotation. So as you can see now, we have this, it looks like, to me it looks like a spider leg or something like that. So you can achieve some very fluid animation um, very fast just by basically animating the movement to follow this IK pose tool. And we will be using that in our animation of the cape. So imagine that this is just a cloth and we're gonna be animating this movement that it moves like this. And it's just an easier way instead of us keyframing each individual bone movement.